people welcome back to my channel she girl honey and i am back with another video for you all today i wanted to do a video about um why i don't date the aries man purely because someone asked me this just yesterday and i thought let me just do a video about it because i am doing a why i don't date series it does not mean i genuinely do not date these people in real life but um I actually don't date Aries men. I don't meet someone and I, I hear, oh, he's an Aries, let me not date him. I do that if it's a Cancer or um, a Pisces and most likely Scorpio. However, when it comes to fire signs, air signs, I don't do that. But I'm, I'm doing videos on all of the signs why I don't date them. And um, just to touch base on everyone's dark side or their negative traits of the zodiac because people were like how can you be making videos about the water signs you know why can't you, can't you do other videos and that's how this whole series started so why i don't date the aries man i will start off again by saying that i am an aries sun sign woman however we all have birth charts and the rest of your chart plays a massive part in your individuality and most of my chart is actually earth so i have a lot of earth in me but i do have my my airy sign is still very very strong right so anyway why don't i date the aries man aries men aries is a sign is a masculine sign you've got masculine and feminine signs but aries is a masculine sign however i find the men to not be as masculine as the women that's why most of the time why i have met aries men in the past i find myself wearing the trousers whereas um i don't particularly like to wear the trousers really but i find myself wearing the trousers aries men put on this massive oh oh let me just say this um this is about aries men but there are going to be some similarities obviously between the women but it doesn't mean that i'm speaking about the women this is about the men today i will touch base on the women another day but anyway um aries men have this massive front they play this crazy character of being super masculine towards women and um when i think of an aries man i tend to think of a guy who's very brash in the things that he says you know i wouldn't take you out on a date come out with me tonight the way that he speaks is very i want this and we're gonna do that. they're very direct and i i like that however they're very aggressive so when they're speaking to women they don't really know how to sweeten up or just tone it down a little bit just so you know they're able to approach women in a better type of way you know these men come across as very as the, these men are very hard-headed okay you can't tell them anything you can't say to them look like i don't know why you cut your hair like that or why you're wearing that or why you behave like this aries man will shut that shit down straight away and he'll tell you about yourself that's the problem with Aries men, right? They they appear to be very masculine, but there is a sensitive side about them. They're like a jawbreaker. Mad hard on the outside, but on the inside, they're soft as fuck, okay? And he shows his soft, his soft side by being super defensive, and in other ways, I'll get to that, but he likes to be very defensive about the things um that someone might have said to him so someone might say to him Ra, like you're a bit hard-headed aren't you and he will come back very quickly back at you and he will say yeah but you're stupid you're dumb like they like to flip shit back onto you so instead of having a general conversation about why you think that i'm stupid why why you think that um i'm hard-headed it's now flipped back onto you don't tell an aries man how to be because in, with Aries in general, Aries people are um, the people that tell you about yourself. So you can't tell us about ourselves, especially a, an Aries man. Aries men are fucking ad arrogant. They are arrogant and they have a massive ignorance about them also. 
and I would like to say that I find fire signs that have a Taurus moon not to be as brash and bold and you know as out there and fiery like the regular like the other moon um, signs that are fire signs but with the, with the Aries with with an Aries man like you can always tell him in a group because he's the one that's playing around and most likely, you know, wrestling in the street with, with a Leo, you know, acting a fool, being super playful. These men, I find, are very close, very close to their mothers. And that even for me bothers me. I'm not saying you should have a bad relationship with your mother. That is not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that there should be a healthy relationship between a mother and his son and um, her son and I don't find it to be very normal they are attracted to women who are really um, submissive really nurturing you know and I find that that comes from their mother a lot of Aries men that I know are, st are, are still very much um, living with their mum or they go back to their mum's house every day and their mum has a massive influence on their lives you know and that can be very off-putting it's very similar to cancer to cancer men and the thing is like I a man an Aries sun man with a cancer moon I would love to hear your experience as a woman dealing with that man in the comments if you have ever dealt with Aries sun cancer moon man because that man must be extremely angry and extremely emotional and has issues with his mother or is extremely close to his mother I want to hear all about it in the comments if you have dealt with someone like that and you know, no no woman wants to feel like she is having to compete with another woman, let alone your damn mother, you know? Aries men are very selfish. You know, it's when it comes to Aries, Aries weakness is the brain or the head. They're hard headed people. They don't like to put themselves in someone else's shoes. Everything is all about everything revolves around them these men like to be placed on a pedestal by their women and they want a submissive woman who's going to do and say what it is that they want these men are usually the kind of guys who are like who have sex on the brain non-stop and to be fair you know it, it is like an Aries thing however when it comes to the men they kind of deem sex like um a, like a temporary happiness kind of thing like, i can't wait to do this and you know and sex with aries man it is all about him aries to aries sex is great just like any sex with your same sign is going to be great right but if you're not an aries and you're sleeping with an aries be prepared and understand that sex with an aries is all about them he will make it about him. He will be fucking you and he'll be saying to you, you know, my dick feels good, doesn't it? And he'll be saying all types of shit that is basically about him, okay? Because that's what it's about. It's about him. Selfish, you see? These guys are the talkers. These guys are the guys who like to gossip and they will call their boy or go play playstation or whatever it is you guys do with your boys and that is where they will be talking a whole lot about you know when they met this girl and what they did with this girl and people guys will always say oh you know i don't really chat to my boys that much but listen you got an aries boy yeah the aries guy will be chatting he will be talking he'll be making their joke about it you know because aries people like to keep the vibrations high or lifted keep it lifted like just make a joke out of everything these guys are the braggers of the zodiac okay these guys like to talk a whole lot about everything they they're very very confident 
Like, I remember I met an Aries guy 2014, I think it was. And um, I was I was only like three days into speaking to him and he had already shown his mother, his friends, photos of me, told them about me. And I don't brag as an Aries, but that's because of my other placements in my chart. I brag about other things, right? But I would never be that quick to go to my to my mum, for example, and say, "Ra, I'm chatting to this guy, and he likes he's this and he's that, and blah blah." Like, mm -mm. you know, they're very quick to go and brag and show and show off. That's not cool, guys, man. That's that's not cool. They're like um. Aries men are very argumentative. My God. These guys are the guys that are very quick to defend themselves, very quick to let you know how they feel, you know, and they want they, they enjoy an argument because they're very passionate people, you see. They wanna argue, they wanna tell you what how they feel about certain things. But be prepared to argue with these men because they want an argument. And I find these men are more arguers than they are physical like fighters. They're they're not the kind of guys that will that will fight you. They're they're the kind of guys that will argue with you and they will they'll make it as though they're ready to fight you, but they're really not on it. Not really. They are very, very quick to replace you. Now, how Aries gets over things is they pretend like it never happened. And that's Aries in general. So imagine dating a man who has hurt you. And he's like, fuck this, I'm out. And he will pick up a next chick straight away because they are very good at rebounding. But they also like to act like what's just happened hasn't happened so they will continue with their life as if nothing had happened can you imagine being an aries man doing that to another woman who is extremely emotional like women are women and their emotions are highly are, are heightened you know when you when you when you're comparing it to a man so Aries is not going to take that into consideration because they are not the most considerate people. The Aries man is not very compassionate. You're going through a bad time. He's not going to be able to stand there and be there for you because he's going to be like, well, how the fuck are you going to fix it? Just fix it so we can do what we need to do. These men are very impulsive. These men will wake up one day and decide, right, I'm going to book a flight to Dubai tomorrow. You know, I'm going to go and get this tattoo on my forehead. I'm going to get up and go and do this. They're also cardinal signs, so they're very quick to make, to, to get shit done, you know. But this is what I'm saying with, with, with these men. You never know what it is you're going to get. You never know because they are very unpredictable very very unpredictable so um that is my why i don't date aries men video i hope you like it just to clarify again um i have tried to date aries people before i haven't got any issues with them i'm an aries myself but um you know aries men are not my most like desirable sign but they bring amazing things to the world like every other sign so please check out my all about aries video which will be in the bio description below where i talk about the aries traits in general man and woman and um yes thank you for watching please like subscribe share comment thank you